Admit it, even if you don't want to, teal and orange looks sexy as hell. So today I'm gonna teach you guys how to get a teal and orange look in all your photos in Lightroom with literally just four clicks. It is that simple, that quick and that easy. Obviously it's not gonna be perfect. You're gonna have to do some fine tuning, but overall it is absolutely the quickest and easiest way on how to get a great orange and teal starting point. We're gonna hop into Lightroom real quick. I'm gonna show you and explain to you my process and how to get this orange and teal look just like that. So now that we're in Lightroom, obviously you're going to want to have some photos that you want to edit. And I'm going to edit some portraits here because I feel like it's definitely important to understand that orange is a big part of the skin tones. And when you go for an orange and teal look, obviously that really exaggerates the oranges. So you got to learn how to make sure that your skin tones still look great. So I'm going to teach you that as well. So the first thing you want to do is head down to the right side and head to your camera calibration. And the first thing you're going to do is basically shift the red and the green all the way to the right. Uh, the hue and then your blue primary hue all the way to the left and as you can see all our kind of whites have become a little bit more bluish uh, and skin tones and highlights are a little bit more orange reddish now so as you can see just a simple change has already kind of exaggerated it obviously you're going to want to play around and mess around with the kind of hue amounts and the saturation amounts based on your photos and whatnot but this is kind of generally what you would do to start off and then i would just kind of adjust the white balance based on how much balance of an orange and teal look you want so for example if you want a very very kind of bluish background where only teal is on her face and her skin tones then you shift it a little bit more colder side and if you want a little bit more of an orange background and less teal then you would obviously shift the white balance to the right to the warmer side so with four little adjustments we've already made ourselves a great teal and orange kind of base preset it's a great starting point obviously there's still a lot that needs to be done especially in terms of skin tones because i feel like it doesn't look that good it doesn't look that appealing so we're gonna head to that next exposure is the next thing we're going to be adjusting and don't copy all my settings number for number because it will not work photos are very very independent of how you're taking them all the settings you know and the lighting and whatnot so i'm going to give you a general kind of outline or guide to point you in the right direction when it comes to editing these types of photos so let's start with the exposure so the first thing i always do is because i like to shoot a tiny bit underexposed i always just bump up the exposure a little bit and bump up the shadows this photo specifically because I want more detail on the model's hair. I'm going to bring the highlights down because I feel like there's too much going on in the model's face right here around this area, too much light. Bring that down um, and blacks and whites. Yeah, I'll bring the blacks down just a tiny bit and bump up the whites ever so slightly. So here's a little pro tip for you in the basic adjustments panel. If you bring the saturation down, it usually helps because the orange and teal color grade is very very heavy very saturated you kind of already see that the skin tones look very very good and if you want to add more orange you can always just add more orange afterwards in the hsl color tab so that's just something to keep in mind i prefer editing this way because it allows me to really really fine tune all the colors now that we've done our basic adjustments let's head over to the hsl slash color tab and really nail in those colors first things first always focus on your skin tones everything comes after that so we're just gonna adjust the reds here. I feel like, you know, her lips are looking a little bit on the pale side. Uh, you gotta be very careful though, because skin tones, like I said, is always orange, red, and yellow. So you gotta be very, very careful adjusting it to get that nice orange kind of almost tan look is the kind of look you're going for. We're going to adjust the saturation, bump it up in the reds a little bit orange just a tad bit you got to be very careful you can see just the slightest adjustment of the orange here it makes and breaks the photo honestly you can really see a huge difference um, here she looks like she's kind of sickish here it looks a little bit more like tan so you got to really really take your time and focus on getting the very very fine adjustments when it comes to skin tones there we go. I think for me, overall, that's good. I, I always recommend bumping up the luminance of the skin tones because it helps bring the skin tones to a more flat, neutral color. It helps kind of smoothen out everything. So we're just going to bump up the luminance of the orange, the reds, and the yellows, as you can see here. And yeah, I think that's a really good point. I mean, as you can see, just turning on HSL on and off. Obviously, you can get a lot more complicated with the masks and whatnot, but this is a quick little tutorial that's really dependent on your photos. So we're not going to get into that today. So now that we've got our base preset, all we're going to do is select all the photos, hit sync, copy all the details over all the settings that you do want. That looks about right. 
synchronize and now we just wait so now as you can see we've got this orange and teal look onto all our photos but as you can see some need to be adjusted a lot more than others so as you can see for example this is a great example where we've already got a very very good starting point it actually looks really really great maybe just mess around with exposure a little bit so let's fix the photos that are a little bit messed up and go through the process of how i would fix it so what you want to keep in mind is when you're editing orange and teal your highlights are supposed to be orange so things like light sources the sun and as you can see here obviously it does not look like the sun is orange it looks like it's fucking blue so first thing we want to do we're going to just adjust the white balance real quick slide it over to the warmer side and i would actually argue that this right here actually looks pretty good just a little bit of white balance adjustment and we've already got a great kind of teal and orange edit here here we've got another photo that's way too blue so we're just going to bump up the exposure bring white balance over through the oranges a little bit more and I think that's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, pretty happy with that, but you know, it's always good to experiment, play around a little bit, see what you can do. So there you have it. I'm gonna throw up a couple of before and afters, pre-edit, post-edit, so you guys can take a look and see. Obviously this is my editing style and kind of my direction I wanted to take it with. You can do tons of different styles of editing with this teal and orange. Maybe you want more blue, you want a darker blue, less teal, more orange different type of orange it's completely up to you and your editing style which is what's amazing about photography but i don't want you guys to focus too much on the final products because at the end of the day it's all about personal taste what this video is really about is getting your photos from this to this and just basically four clicks it literally takes you like 10 seconds and you've already put yourself in a great start all your warmer colors have been pushed towards the oranges all your colder colors have been pushed towards the blues and that way you've already got a great starting point it's a lot easy and it's a lot less hassling around and it's very very easy to make adjustments and change how how much teal and orange you want or how strong you want it to be so if you enjoyed this tutorial please i would definitely appreciate a like and subscribe we've got more tutorials coming more photography related stuff i would also love to hear what you guys thought in the comments down below let me know what you think do you like teal and orange i know it is a little bit of a fucking meme if you're shooting on sony like i am that teal and orange is everything but it's hard to fault and hard to argue that a nice teal and orange edit is bad it really really is but anyways that's it for now i'll see you guys around